Alrighty, welcome back to the second episode of Malice Plays Rogue Legacy 2. If you watched the first one, welcome back, of course, if this is your first time. Uh, if this happens to be the first episode that you view. Um, basically, uh, I, I won't be... I won't be trying to just narrate the gameplay. This is more of a kind of listen to me ramble on as I play the game. Obviously, this game is new to me, new to everyone else, and I did not play a whole lot of the first one. So, as I learn the mechanics of the game, um, you know, I'll, I'll have to use a little bit more of my brain power to figure out what the heck is going on think about the projectiles because my god the projectiles in this game mess me up so bad also uh whenever possible if there is a cat in my game room in my office then i will hopefully be able to have a camera on them before they leave um in the first episode we had a brief introduction of who i consider to be my cat well, they're both my cats, but she is a daddy's girl 100% to Moxie, or Booger, more commonly referred to. But this big boy is Jax. He loves to sleep in his bed. He's about three feet away from my computer on my work desk, sleeping, so... You get to have that nice little surprise every once in a while, hopefully if they stick around. I usually keep it pretty warm in here in comparison to the rest of the house, so I think that's why they like it in here. Um, okay, who are we going to play? We have the Barbarian. You know, I'm not a fan of... I mean, I love pairing. played lots of Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Excuse me. Paranoia, huh? Destroys large projectiles. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I want to play this champ. Champion? Character? Summoner? Something? Oh, yeah. Last round. You know what? Let's buy a chef. Switch to the chef class. No, not right now. I haven't played the barbarian yet. Enter labor, labor costs rise with each upgrade, making each purchase slightly more. Oh, yeah. Um, so the dollar signs represent things that I can afford. I don't think we need weight capacity because. I don't know. Doesn't seem like. Duelists. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay. Yeah. Duelists are all about finesse, dodge attacks, and dish out damage with a 1-2 combo attack. Nope, we're playing the Barbarian still, but that sounds like a good time. Architect. It's an old person. Pay his fees, assuage his ego, and he will lend you his powers to keep the kingdom from changing. What? Also, is that a standard number two pencil in his ear? Well, I hope so. Because then he couldn't take standardized tests. Increases intelligence. I haven't played much of those characters yet. Increases focus. Raising spell crits. Increases XP gain. Max rune weight capacity. N no idea what that means thus far. Can I go down? No. The safe is the bottom. What is this over here? Dexterity, raising weapon crits. You know what? Let's buy the training dummy. I've seen what it does. But not super interested. Reduces architect finder's fee. Increases focus. Restore health when entering a boss chamber. You know what? We're just going to go with increased vitality. That sounds safe. So with all of those purchases, maybe he's saying something that I should be paying attention to. This looks like new gut dialogue, to be honest. 
Okay, we can buy... Well, we can't buy, I don't think. Yeah, our wallet is too small. Increases strength. Weight. Oh, weight class gives us effects on our resolve, too. Okay, that's interesting. So that is... So leather helmet is just a benefit. Too broke. Increases intelligence, which is magic damage. I don't play a lot of magic classes. Maybe I should change that. We'll talk to you later. Enchantress. Glad to see you again. The, 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 oh, yeah. Lifesteal runes. Costs 800 in. Is this permanent? I think it, I would imagine it's permanent, right? Because the blacksmith. The blacksmith upgrades are permanent. And this is a lot of money. That I do not have. Magnesis room, you got. Okay, so things can fly towards you, gain more gold. And the architect, what do you do? His name is Old Man. See this drill? I can use it to lock the kingdom down to prevent it from ever changing. Oh, does that mean like. We'll take 30% of all gold. Okay. So he can take like your previous map or something, and and just you would play the same map. Okay, I've got 50 gold. Give the man his money so we can go. Okay, uh, we have a new debilitation, paranoia. Chests will drop an explosive surprise. Oh. That doesn't seem too bad for 25% extra gold. Okay, so we've got big axe. We've got big, uh, big projectile destroying explosion. Okay, when you jump and attack, you do early early. And you can control the direction on it. That's good. And we've got the magma bomb. So they do anything special, actually. Summons three that uh, goes through walls. Will skill crit while falling. I don't. I don't know what that means. Whirly really early. Whirly really early. Okay. Cool. You cannot move while attack or attacking a spell. I should say. Okay. Okay. This is cool. So red means that's a new area. I think. If I remember correctly. Alright, we will get straight into the banter once uh, I start warming up here. These things kind of start going on autopilot if they do at all. We'll get straight into it. Crits. Can it crit? Ground attacks always quit. Crit. Okay. Oh, that's not right button edit this out because i'm going poop and we're back kind of i think yeah house rules i imagine house rules i don't know i don't know okay holy god I don't want anything to do with you. Die? Okay, give me my money. Alright, alright. We're warming up. We're getting into it. Blinky is down. Say okay and then do nothing because this is stressful. Lots of things going on at once. You know, for for my um, 
Well, I guess I shouldn't say, you know, college only people. People in high school as well, I guess. You ever just, like, are paying attention to your lecture and then you don't know what happens. Like, nothing in particular, nothing particularly interesting happens at any given time, but... Oh my god, that was bad. But you black out for the next 60 seconds or something, and then the teacher is just on a topic that, like, you have no idea how you got to that topic. Like, um, I, I'm a biochem major, not a flex or anything, to be honest, like, like don't look into it. Um, dude, are you going to come out of that? Okay, I'm just gonna die. So I'm a biochem major, right? So, um, classes are pretty dang hard, and so you're talking about the proteins or, you know, the different, uh... Okay, lose no health, defeat all enemies. You are, you know, learning about uh, all the mechanisms in which things happen in your body. Well, that sucks. Don't talk and play this game, guys. It sucks. Anyways, um... You know, you're, you're learning about, like, how chemicals go through different parts of your body and, and, and where it ends up and how useful it is and all, all that good stuff, right? Um, and then you'll, like, look at the clock, you know, to see how much longer this you have to take. Uh, obviously, this is pre-COVID. And um, you'll look at the clock or, or look down at your notes and go, like, oh, I've been writing off the line this whole time and then start like like just you know meandering off for the next 30 to 60 seconds and then you look back up and then you're like dear god i hope this lecture is recorded because i have no idea how we got here and all of a sudden you know you went from talking about you know mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell to you know where r5b goes into the metabolic pro I, I don't know can you tell that i you know, this happened to me during this lecture because it 100% did. Oh god. Okay, I don't... We opened a chest, we got some leather armor. Explosions happened. Oh, we can talk to these now. How many years has it been since we first came down here? 50 years, 100, 1,000? My patience is at its end. These scholars, they jump from one fancy to the next, and they are the bell of the ball. Okay? Just singing and dancing, never finish anything they've started. This lackadaisical behavior must be brought to the end, to an end. They must be punished. Only through pain can we drive discovery. Okay. Oh, can we? That looks like the face of the boss. Okay. Oh, and look at that. Hello, boss. Anyways, yeah. Um. I don't know how many people can relate to, to that, but uh, it's definitely something that I had a problem with. I think in the last episode, too, I, I mentioned I, I was talking about something and then had to focus up on the game or something and then just completely just could not anything I was talking about prior to what I had just done. Worth it. Can't even get up there. So that might happen, especially, you know, I, I think I've got what I would call a COVID brain, right? Like, and some people might know what I'm talking about right off the bat, but what I mean by COVID brain, for those who aren't familiar or maybe have a different term for it, is like, 
you know, going to school and stuff, you, you got to be pretty sharp. I would say go into community college my first two years of school. I was doing a lot of math classes, trying to get out of the, that out of the way before I went to a bigger university. And, you know, I was pretty sharp. I, I could, you know, do calculus fairly quickly in my head, that type of stuff. And I went to... Oh, man. I hit that. I went to university. First term and stuff. So, super ready. You know, I had taken courses... Okay. I had taken courses... Um, throughout the summer, so I didn't really have a huge break to get, you know, to have a summer break and forget a lot of the things that I had spent time on. I kind of just went in with a with a fresh brain ready to, to learn. And I actually uh, finished most of my prereqs, so I was in the more... I was in the more difficult classes, the, uh, the, the upper division community colleges don't typically have upper division classes, so you take a bunch of core classes, like, you know, your standard writing class, oh no, what is happening, I, I don't like that room, there's a chest up there, um, you take a lot of your core classes and get them out of the way so that you can focus up on getting your your upper divisions at university. And so anyway, back to COVID brain. You know, uh, a lot of universities typically took that, took COVID seriously right from the get-go. And, you know, Many universities had implemented online school platforms. You know, it's an extra source of revenue. So my school definitely had uh, online courses. Hold on, we have a guitar. I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna read what it says. We're taking it. Oh, that's not good. your gold by 35%. 55% resolve. You know what? We're just taking it. For now, I'm just going to figure out what these are. I don't like having question marks. Enemies defeated with critical hit restore 60% of your max health. That's pretty dope. Take me down. So, COVID brain. Online classes, right? Um, so, a lot, lots of of the bigger universities or public schools um, would typically have online classes already ready. So a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of courses easily adapted to, to online life, I guess I would call it. And so, oh no, okay. So you would. Um, have these online courses and but but they weren't like adjusted to online class life right like the the, the testing was done a certain way oh there's a I don't understand this weapon at all like okay that worked Why do I have no charge?
understand this weapon. It's probably gonna kill us. Um, anyways. Here's one of those moments where... I forget where I'm at. Uh, so the classes weren't, like, super, you know, ready for that adjustment, right? And so... Tip there, there were opportunities for being lazier than you would normally would, right? Like, um, having the internet more readily available for homework assignments. Um, people I knew started using Discord to get together um, and, and work on homework, which is fine and dandy. And then obviously, you know, uh, the, there was an increase in the ease of uh, cheating. And, you know, that was a problem that was identified by the university, but, like, you know, if the students put the effort into it, there's not a whole lot you can do. Uh, unless you wanted to use, like, a third-party proctoring program. Oh, God. Um, third-party proctoring program to monitor all of your students uh, during exams and, and stuff. Okay, there we go. Which, you know, nobody wants, the teachers didn't want to do that, the school didn't want to pay for those programs or have their team develop them or whatever, at least at my school. It was a public school, so I mean, they're, they're probably well off, but not as well off as some other schools. Maybe. Bro, what is happening? I'm scared. Dude, that is a terrible weapon. Like, why would anyone take that? I guess we'll find out later, but you know, let's run it back. Let's let's be a chef. Strike mid-sized projectiles to reflect them. That's pretty sick. Store health and mana. Holds up to three charges. Okay, whatever. COVID brain, right? Uh, so, so you got used to this uh, ease in your in your schooling, right? And it would just get you like like all of a sudden that sharpness that I had taking a bunch of math classes and, and, and science classes, like chemistry is very mathematics based, you know, you gotta kinda keep your wits about you, have a lot of data stored in, in the wrinkles of your brain and be able to access it quickly, especially for tests and stuff. That's how, that's how mathematics and science usually works, is associating things and, and being able to pull useful things out of the back of your head really quickly. And it just, it it just went away, I guess, over time because uh, you know, people with a lot better discipline than me can probably say otherwise. But uh, yeah, it just, it, I just lost it after a little while. Not to say that you know I'm stupid or anything now, although I am definitely a little bit dumber than I used to be. But having the ability to just recall information quickly uh, definitely deteriorated after the, uh, the next couple years of university doing that. Which, you know, it was my own fault, right? Like, there, there are people who were very 
very well disciplined and didn't partake in, in any of the opportunities for making life easier. Uh, when school was mostly 100% online, I, I had some laughs that uh, eventually, eventually, uh, the school deemed it important enough for you know science majors to get that lab experience, especially the uh, the what are they called? Upper upperclassmen, yeah, upperclassmen. So like biochem students got their biochem lab opportunities probably a little bit sooner than maybe the, the gen chem or the basic biology classes. Mm. You know what? Forget the shell. So I got some lab experience, which made you stay on your toes. We got a shell. Defeat of six enemies to print the next source of damage. It's neat. And, uh, yeah, COVID. Uh, I basically... What I was getting at for the last 20 minutes or whatever it was trying to, to play this game and, and have a unified thought is basically just me saying I am not as sharp as I was in the first few years of university. Oh and I think COVID took a toll on a lot of us. I don't think it's just me. I am not as sharp as I used to be. Oh. It, it kind of sucks, like the circumstances. And like I said, some people didn't have had the discipline to be able to push past, you know, the ability or like the availability of being lazy or I enjoy my free time a lot. I play disc golf and stuff, so, you know, having, yeah, that's, that's, this is a good example, actually, having to go to lecture on time, and if you're late, you know, the, some professors would, you know, close the door and lock it or whatever, and, and you'd have to get notes from your fellow classmates, um, versus, you know, because of COVID, there was requirements to have recordings of the lectures. In, in the so I could just, you know, F off all day, play disc golf, play video games, whatever, and not really have any repercussions because I can just go watch the lecture. Okay, no jumping. What? How do you do this? No jumping. Okay. Let me think about this. You can dash. So do I dash from one side? No! That was so good. I'm so upset. I don't even, I can't even speak right now. So yeah, hopefully by, you know, speaking and having coherent thoughts for a significant amount of time via these videos will bring back some of that sharpness that I had in my former years of college. I've been thinking about just picking up some of my old calculus books and seeing what I can and can't do because, you know, regardless of the stigma behind, you know, that, those types of math and all that stuff, I found it fun and enjoyable. I think that there's a negative stigma behind it a lot of the time because um, what 
what I found is it was um, high school math that a lot of, that turned a lot of people away from it, like that that era of their lives. Uh, maybe it was from the teachers, maybe it was from the content, maybe people really just didn't understand it. Like I I think I feel like let's, let's actually do this first. Okay, there we go. So we can get another shell and make it better. Or I can get something I've never seen before. Corrupting reagent leaves a poisonous cloud for one second. Nice. And, and I think the math... Oh, God. Math is fun and important in everyday life. Not just because, you know, numbers are important. Like I just said, it keeps you sharp, it keeps you on your toes. It, it's good for the good for the noggin to be able to do that kind of recollection, problem solving. And then I had the the bonus to, um, you know, I have bias because I actually enjoyed it. Like, you know, psychopath. It's unfortunate that a lot of people had negative experiences in their math and science classes because as important as English is, I think the ability to, to have that problem solving, those problem solving skills, there's a... ability to have those problem solving skills is super important as well. I don't think I can get in there. I think I messed it up. I think you're supposed to do a downward slash to get in there. But if, uh, if I can convince somebody, just one person, to go back and, uh, you know, go on Khan Academy or something, or go on YouTube and watch some lectures of uh, mathematics, do some learning, there's some cool things that math can tell us. Um, I'm particularly interested in the astrophysics aspect, you know, knowing... Um, the equations and, and laws that dictate the universe and how it works is super interesting. Some other people are more interested in, you know, finances. You know, finances is something that is super relevant in everybody's lives, especially mine, because I'm poor. And wish I knew more about finances. You know, as much as I am sitting here saying that I could do calculus really well, you know, I got good grades in calculus. Didn't really have a problem learning any of the materials at the time. Uh, a little, little different now. Um, I could not learn statistics at all. Calculus to me just made sense because they're like, I want to say facts, like calculus equations are facts, like derivatives and integrals representing trends of data and stuff. But with, uh, with statistics, it seems like, you know, X bar values and, and averages all that stuff. Me, median mode. To me, it felt a lot like. Even though after doing it for a while, it makes sense where where those types of calculations came from and why it's good to represent a data set with relative values and and, and averages and standard deviations and stuff like that. 
it just felt like hold on we got an item bank shift explosive blocks mid-sized projectiles holds two charges okay oh that replaced our food i guess i should have eaten food whatever it, it felt like, um, what's the I'm looking for? Like, not real, question mark? Like, uh, manufactured, I guess. Like, it just came out of thin air to, to help people analyze data. Which is, you know, which is important. But it, it was hard for me personally to grasp. Because I can, you know, take the, uh, oh god, I don't even know if I'm right in this respect anymore. Take the, uh, derivative of a, of an x squared function, and, oh god. That, this is how rusty I am. I'm, I'm googling it right now. The derivative of x squared Is 2x. Wait. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the derivative of a parabolic function is a linear function, which represents a rate of change, whereas an integral is like the area under a graph, which represents, you know, an pretty sure i don't know see i need to this is an eye opener i need to go back and go through my calculus books why can't i go in this how do i oh come on Um, but that type of math just made sense to me because it's like real relationships and stuff, whereas statistics felt, as I said, more manufactured. You know, it was somebody trying to develop some type of formulae, formulae, whatever, to represent data in a way that wasn't necessarily you know, right in front of you. Derivatives and integrals are, uh, are, sorry, many enemies in one small room, and me being a noob does not help. Derivatives, integrals, um, you know, trigonometry, all that stuff. It's kind of just analysis of what is like like real data, I guess. Rates of change, volumes, areas. Really useful in things like engineering, right? And for a good reason. I'm not gonna go. And again, statistics. It just felt. Oh god. That's not what I want. Anyways, I, I've been barking up the same tree for a little while. Point being, math is great, and you should do it. And more importantly, I think I need to do it, because my wits are not about Good time. Oh god. Oh Jesus. It was a good time going over to my buddy's house and doing calculus at from ten o'clock at night to two in the morning to the But hey, we did it. We got some grades. There's the boss door. Insight discovered. Yay. I think that 
goes to new area. Two new areas. All right, banter complete for now. It is, wait, it's sealed. If we want to leave this island, we'll have to enter his throne room. Only his royal retinue can open them, but I have seen how they do it. There are two torches beside each door. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well. Let's go. Look at that cat. Oh my god, the cat is so cute. Oh god, no. We do. A lot of money. Chef rank one still. Oh wait, no. Did we start at rank zero? Anyways. Thanks for watching. How's our, how's the cat doing? He's doing good. I think he changed positions. Hopefully you noticed that, because I definitely did not. A couple big yawns, maybe. Anyways. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble about probably nothing and coming to no conclusions. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, hope you have a nice day.